imagine you could take in all of human history in the blink of an eye. From the first life in ancient oceans to the first steps on the moon, that's how fast our story has played out if you zoom out far enough. And if you could travel one billion years into the past, what would you see? Did Earth ever freeze into a giant snowball? When did the first humans appear? And could we already be on our way out? Let's find out if you went back a billion years. In a way, we're all time travelers. We move through time at one second per second. But to reverse that direction, to go backward, you'd need something more. Either you break the speed of light, as Einstein once theorized, or you find a shortcut, maybe a wormhole, that lets you tunnel through space-time. However you pull it off, time travel wouldn't just let you witness the past. You'd watch it unfold in reverse, watching the effects first, then the causes. Starting in the present day, the first thing you'd notice is loss. We're living through the Holocene extinction, the sixth mass extinction in Earth's history. Unlike the ones before, this one is our fault. Coral reefs collapse, rainforests vanish, and with them, entire species go extinct, many without ever being documented. According to conservation groups, nearly 70% of endangered species could be gone within the next century and we may not even notice until it's too late. Rewind a few centuries further, and you'd pass through the smoke of the Industrial Revolution. Cities shrink, pollution fades, and smokestacks return to quiet hillsides. Human population begins to drop, and so does our footprint. But if you want to see where we truly began, you'll need to go much farther. Travel 200,000 years back, and you'd witness the arrival of Homo sapiens, our species. Seven million years back, and you might run into Sahelanthropus chidensis, one of the first species to walk upright. It looked a bit like an ape, but this one walked on two legs. Surviving in this world would be tough. You'd need sharp instincts and sharper tools. No second chances, step back 60 million years, and the first primates are swinging through the forests of ancient Asia. At 65 million years, the sky darkens. A massive asteroid slams into Earth, triggering tsunamis, volcanic eruptions, and a global winter. The dinosaurs are gone, but that disaster clears the way for mammals like us to rise. At 130 million years, flowers bloom for the very first time. And 200 million years ago, Earth itself begins to break apart. The single supercontinent Pangaea splits into pieces, setting the stage for the continents we know today. It wasn't a quiet breakup. Volcanoes erupt for thousands of years, wiping out almost 80% of life on Earth. Step back another 20 million years, and you'll see tiny mammals, nocturnal and nervous, crawling through the underbrush. At 230 million years, dinosaurs appear for the first time, walking upright. But before they get their chance, another extinction clears the stage. The Permian extinction, also called the Great Dying, wipes out 95% of all species on Earth. Before that, all the continents had fused into one, Pangaea. Back then, you could walk from what's now Argentina to China, if you could survive long enough. Around 375 million years ago, the oceans come alive. Marine creatures begin crawling onto land for the first time. You might spot a tiktaalik, part fish, part salamander, clumsily flopping onto the shore. This strange little animal would evolve into amphibians, and eventually, everything from frogs to humans. But just like everything else in this story, progress comes with loss. The Ordovician extinction hits around 460 million years ago. Ice sheets grow from the poles, covering oceans and killing nearly 70% of all sea life. Still, if you rewind even further, you'll find something remarkable. Roughly 540 million years ago, Earth undergoes the Cambrian explosion, a sudden surge in complex life. Almost every major animal lineage traces back to this era. Why it happened is still a mystery. And then, everything freezes. Between 635 and 850 million years ago, Earth goes through two global ice ages. One of them lasts nearly 60 million years. Some scientists think the planet was covered in a thin layer of ice, just enough to let sunlight through, while life slowly adapted below. Finally, we reach one billion years ago, and there's not much to see. The world is covered in water. No animals, no forests, no dinosaurs, no humans, just microscopic life, algae, cells, and simple organisms trying to survive. And yet, this is where it all begins. From here, everything that would become Earth's story, its explosions, extinctions, triumphs, and tragedies still lies ahead. But maybe the most powerful force Earth ever produced was us. In just a few thousand years, we've reshaped the planet in ways no asteroid or volcano ever did. 
question is, will we survive our own impact or will we vanish like so many others before us?